Um, so I did enjoy the sort of meta um, element and aspect that was in The Stranger of how um, the sort of attacker was the old man and the old man was like, sort of fighting himself um, and sort of dealing whatever he's dealing with. Um, those are the sort of major themes um, that I came, uh, that spoke to me um, in the short film was sort of the internal battle that one has with oneself um, and sort of overcoming that and how do you overcome thing? Do you truly overcome that and how um, how do you sort of determine and trust yourself if that has been the case? And that was shown especially in the ending scene where the old man is sort of sat back where he was in the same shirt. However, there was um, there was uh, a footprints, lots of footprints um, to indicate that uh, possibly he didn't overcome um, one of the internal strangers, strangers uh, internal issues, sorry, that he was coming across. Um, and uh, again, there was no verbal except for the question, what do you want from me again? Which I think was helpful um, and really helped you kind of come up with what it could be, that what the issue could truly be. It had a very good tone, a very good look, very good feel to it. We had a sense of a foreboding from the very start of it, and that the music and the camera movements were very effective. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's an interesting thing to, you know, you have the evil doppelganger thing happening, but then um, you're not sure how it resolves, who's left there at the end. So, and uh, which one of them is bad, if either, you know, why is this happening? You know, it's a... Uh, so it's a good kind of Twilight Zone kind of setup and premise. And I, yeah, the, I like the irony of at the end, not knowing who's left. So that was very well done. The suspense is apparent from the music. You have the sound of the cicadas, glass breaking. So I'm not surprised at all when someone jumps up. I was just waiting for when. What I didn't predict was the fight scene itself and the reveal in the pool of himself fighting himself. So in the end, you have these wet footsteps leading back to the couch, which gives this eerie feeling of who is actually sitting on this couch now enjoying this TV show. Is it the guy we originally saw in the beginning or is it his doppelganger? And you never really know. And it leaves you with this whole feeling of, oh, the stranger. Intense and action-packed short that, for one, I just want to say that I enjoyed the score greatly. It was very much, um, it was a jam. <laughs> it was very catchy and I, I liked it a lot. I liked listening to it a lot. Um, additionally, the sound design was very impactful. It was very intense. And the twist at the end it's very chilling. It makes you think. Um, especially, I like how subtle it is with the... One, the ambiguity, but also the water on the floor. It really makes you question... Are we still looking at the same man that we looked at at the beginning of uh, our short? All in all, it was very intense, very impactful, and I enjoyed it a lot. It was very well directed. Um... The editing was very tight and very concise, um, and the actors did a very good job conducting themselves. Um, it was very believable watching them um, in their physical altercation, which is sometimes hard to translate on screen. So definitely a wonderful job there. It was dimly lit. Uh, it reinforced its scary tone. Uh, it was I was filled with anxiety from the beginning to the end. Um, it was like exciting. Um, it had a really exciting fight scene, um, and it was good acting as well from the actors. It definitely held my interest all throughout. Um, I was very intrigued and curious about what would happen next, and I think the way that the story unfolded worked really well for um, a short film. 